Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Now, there was something that I saw. Um, I saw this online, and I, found, I thought that this was appropriate to this, this um, topic that I'm talking about. You remember Jack Nicholson? And um, what was that? An officer? I don't even know. What was it? I don't remember. The, the, the movie with, um, with, with Tom Cruise, I don't even know what the hell the name of it, of it is right now. It's, just, it's escaping me. But what's not escaping me is the part in there, the speech that Jack Nicholson gave. And I want to read this speech to you in the whole, and then I want to pull out a certain part of it so you can get an idea of where I'm coming from. And of course, you all know this because you've heard it a thousand times. You can't handle the truth. This is when um, he's under um, questioning by Tom Cruise in the courtroom, and he blows up at this point. When Tom Cruise says, I want the truth, and he says, you can't handle the truth. And this is what he says. Now, I want you to listen to this, and I'm going to pull out a certain part of it to show you how it, it's relevant to what I'm talking about. He says, son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility that you can that you can possibly phantom. Oh, a few good men. Thank you. <laughs> You weep, from, you weep for Santiago and you curse the Marines. You have the luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That Santiago's death, while tragic, properly saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide them. I'd rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you're entitled to. Now, the part that I want to pull out of that, I love that speech. That's one of the, probably some of the best well-written dialogue in a scene ever. But I want to pull out this specific, this specific part right here. He says, I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide them. I'd rather you just said thank you and went on your way. I'm gonna pull that part out there, that part right there. Do you know who that is in the context of what we're talking about? That's the white man, the white man in America. If we had to create a dialogue, instead of it being Jack Nicholson, that's the white man, and you know who he's talking to? He's talking to the black power American. He's talking to the militant integrationists. And he's saying to them, now keep that as the context when I repeat this dialogue again and see how this is relevant. This is what the white man is saying to the black power American and the militant integrationists. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide them. I'd rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Now, for those of you out there who are intelligent, a bell should go off. If there's somebody that's actually still confused, I really don't know what to fucking do. For, for, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know, do, I don't know what to do for you. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe this is just subject matter that is way over your head that you just need to go somewhere and, and read like, you know, Dr. Seuss or something. Stay out of the black nationalist conversation. Stay out of the land infrastructure and nationhood conversation. Because what I just described there is the white man telling the black power American and the militant integrationists, I provide your freedom. I provide your safety. I'm the one that's looking after you. So what are you protesting against me for? What are you questioning me for? And you know what? I agree with him. Why are you questioning him? If you don't want to control your own infrastructure, you don't want your own land, because it's, it's apparent to me that nobody wants their own land. Because you fight the BAIO, you fight me, you fight minister, you fight Kala, you fight all of us who's talking about black people in America need to control their own context. And you got people who claim to be about black folks, who claim to be about black people. Oh, no, we can't have our own. You even have Pan-Africanists that don't think that we should have our own. You can't compare to the status right here. Legendary worldwide, we can battle right here. Listen, Junior, I'ma tear back and win. This ain't TV, but I'll show you what a fear factor is. Stop grilling me, and all that fronting is killing me. You leave me no choice but to hurt your feelings, G. About the slap rappers around the group. 